all right hello everyone this is me dr ashutosh bhardwaj welcome to my youtube channel so <clears throat> today i'm going to read acetic acid from ellen's keynote and why i'm reading this because there is a ellen's keynote series going on on my channel so uh, the window you are seeing this it's a synergy homeopathic software and it's uh, right now a uh, very important software that has been going all through the homeopaths and uh, so uh, let's focus on the ellen's keynote and uh, we are going to study acetic acid today and it is commonly known as glacial acetic acid and uh, it is adapted to leading person with lax flabby muscles face pale and vexy so there are some medicines like ki, the ferrometallicum the coca patient the uh, amylsum nitrosum so these are some kind of medicines that have the uh, pale face with any any of the symptoms like in ferrometallicum just saying that ki, in ferrometallicum there is an extreme paleness of face of lips which become red and flushed on least pain emotion exertion and there is a blushing hai na so i hope ki in uh, ferrometallicum there are two me more medicines in the bracket it is like ki amylsum nitrosum and coca okay so in amylsum nitrosum there is a, a face flushes only on a slightest emotions okay and uh, he or she blushes in chronic or acute cases or uh, it have the sea sickness okay so this features of amylsum nitrosum okay so if you can uh, think of uh, amylenum nitrosum sorry for the pronunciation so just 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 see this symptom face flushes or at the slightest emotion coca and ferrometallicum blushes chronic and acute sea sickness okay the the, the symptom that i am telling that this is okay next uh, what about coca hai na is coca is a patient who have a fail but uh, who has a face of paleness or uh, it is adapted to some like a lean person so in uh, uh, coca there is a symptom of paleness there is a symptom of uh, like um, uh, paleness of the face or of the skin that because uh, it is not mentioned in coca in anywhere in the book in, in, in anywhere in the book but i can say that due to its seat of the seat of the medicine that why coca is giving to the patients okay so first thing coca has a symptom of like ki dyspnea hypoxia condition he can't breathe in that altitude the medicine is only for mountaineers okay the uh, respiratory distress hai na they can't breathe at such altitude okay so it has that symptom we can read it from coca also let's see coca where is it theek hai this medicine coca theek hai Hmm. Want of breath, <clears throat> shortness of breath. Okay. According to me, this is like ki uh, because they can't breathe in that situation. Physical or mental strain of busy life, exhausted. Okay. There is a dyspnea and oppressed of chest, oppression of chest. okay so this is coca the medicine coming back to the medicine acetic acid 
so coming to the next uh, topic hemorrhage from every outlet nose throat lungs stomach bowel uterus these all symptoms are also given in ferrum metallicum and millefolium and metroagia vicarious traumatic epitaxis that is also given in arnica okay so let's focus on focus upon some like key hemorrhagic medicines also ferrum metallicum millefolium uh, hemimalis okay arnica calendula these are the medicine of like key hemorrhagic but from every outlet you have to understand that ki uh, traumatic epitaxis metroragia vicariousity or uh, traumatic injury surgery all these things are also given in arnica also okay and uh, talking about um, ferrum metallicum talking about ferrum metallicum the hemorrhagic because the ferrum metallicum is also a hemorrhagic diathesis medicine that's why uh, uh the blood of this um, ferrum metallicum is like red blood bright and it coagulates easily than any other medicines okay if you go through the di- differential diagnosis of every medicines in hemorrhagic diathesis you can see ferrum metallicum at the foremost point okay next Uh, at this point in ferrum metallicum when you study ferrum metallicum there are three more medicines also which are these that is phosphorus epicoc and ferrum phos okay due to the weakness it has uh, mentioned due to phosphorus epicoc there are also that next next medicine is millefolium why millefolium millefolium <coughs> sorry for that uh millefolium has the uh, uh what you can say that ki from every mucus outlet internally hai na lungs uh stomach uh, especially lungs hai na it is given in there theek hai uh painless with fever sorry painlessness i i hope ki it has given in painlessness without fever hai na it's bright red in perimetericum also in hemorrhagic symptom there is three more medicines like uh, aconite epicoc sabina i'm not going deep down in that medicines when we are going to read that medicines we can come up with that symptoms also mm. next medicine is like marasmus and other wasting diseases so other wasting diseases or uh, like <coughs> sorry so talking about millefolium millefolium has the hemorrhage of wound okay and hemorrhage of wound it has also given in hemimalis also okay the main feature you have to understand that which medicine has given this all kind of symptoms okay so muscles of mechanical injury there are three medicines we got millefolium arnica and acetic acid that we are studying right now there are three medicines that have this mechanical injury symptom so whenever someone ask you about that ki uh, uh hemorrhage from mechanical injury yeah traumatic injury so you have to focus three medicine millefolium uh arnica and acetic acid next there is a symptom of painlessness without fever also okay bright red flushed blood okay uh aconite epicoc sabina i have told you before next marasmus of other wasting diseases of children abrotanum iodum sanicula tuberculinum so in this uh, in this uh, <coughs> in this uh, symptom i'm not comparing all the abrotanum iodum sanicula or uh, tuberculinum because it has given somewhere here click on the i button you can see and you can read that medicine from a brotenum topic that i have posted 2 uh, 3 days ago okay so next there is a great prostration after injury sulfuric acid uh, after surgical shock after anesthesia or anesthetics okay so great prostration after injury sulfuric acid okay uh, 
इन दैट सेंस आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू दैट की ग्रेट प्रोस्ट्रेशन आफ्टर इंजरी सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड एवरी एसिड मेडिसिन हैज दिस ग्रेट प्रोस्ट्रेशन ओके नेक्स्ट गिविंग यू सम an example of uh, a prostration i want to to add one more medicine okay one more medicine that is uh erythrinite i hope ki i am pronouncing it right if i am not please comment in in the comment box so it is the medicine of hemorrhage it is the medicine it is the greatest medicine I have seen the single medicine, ठीक है Eric, oh sorry, I'm searching on the books. Eric, हा ठीक है Let's read it from Boric Materia Medica. Let's read. It's a single medicine. It's the only medicine that is compared with Rustox, Millifolium, and Hemomelis. it is the remedy of hemorrhagic or hemorrhagic remedy epitaxis of bright blood hemorrhage from any part especially lungs always attended by excitement of circulation flushes of heat and coldness scanty urine oedema of extremities skin skin symptoms are like rux uh, rustox ya yeah, rust poisoning and comparison to theek hai uh, and uh, the dose has been given as locally for poison oak and it has been given in tincture form okay this is the medicine that i am talking about ki in the hemorrhagic remedy acetic acid coming back to the acetic acid from ellen's keynote so marasmus we have gone through uh, in the previous video great prostration after injury sulfuric acid let's talk about sulfuric acid sulfuric acid has the symptom of uh, surgical shock uh, when uh, prostration are like surgical uh, shock or uh, anesthesia okay bad effect of mechanical injury that has been given and also in uh, uh, alniga also bad effect of uh, injuries mechanical injury bruises uh shafing and livid skin prostration that is the symptom of sulfuric acid and every acid has some kind of uh, prostration in that okay the single medicine if anyone ask you that ki great prostration after surgical shock after anesthetics only medicine is acetic acid if anyone ask great prostration after injury or which medicine which injury mechanical injury that is sulfuric acid okay next thirst intense burning insatiable even for a large quantity of dropsy diabetes chronic diarrhea but no thirst in the fever okay the only symptoms that has given in this remedy next so blenching and vomiting of pregnancy burning water brushes and profuse salivation day and night lactic acid has also the symptom profuse salivation of day and night salivation aggravated at night mux all let's read let's read lactic acid okay <coughs> lactic acid has the symptom of copious salivation and water brushes so this medicine has not given an ellen's keynote so don't confuse in searching in that uh, <laughs> lactic acid in ellen's keynote but you can search it from boric acid it has given in this symptom and i'm showing you here i'm showing you here also in the software also that is which medicine lacticum 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 from boric materia america C, C, C. Copious salivation and water brushes. Nausea, morning sickness, especially in pale anemic women. There one more medicine that pale face, acetic acid, pale face, pale anemic women. Which medicine? Lactic acid. Okay. 
copious salivation, water brushes, okay? Next, coming back to our medicine. Acetic acid from Zelensky note, yeah. Great salivation at night, Muxol, okay? We're going to read Muxol in, 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 in a, a single medicine. There we can discuss about acetic acid. Next, diarrhea, copious, exhausted, great thirst and dropsy, typhus, pithiasis with night sweat. Okay, the only medicine, acetic acid. True cupious, hissing, respiration, cough with inhalation as it feels it's a last stage of crew. Let's talk about crew. Okay, there is one medicine written as spongia toaster. Why spongia? Spongia has the symptom like he, he feels like he is uh, uh, inhaling from sponge, from the sponge. Okay, talking about the croup symptom, it's like a wheezing symptom in spongia toaster and it's about anxiousness. Because he is anxious, that's why the croup begins and aggravate during inhalation. Okay, inhalation, spongia toaster. Inhalation, acetic acid. Okay, next. I'm talking about the inhalation, cuff with the inhalation, group like inhalation, spongia toaster, uh, acetic acid. We can talk about uh, like uh, during exhalation, cuff during exhalation. The only medicines there is aconite. Aconite. Aconite has the symptom of the dry, suffocating, whistling sound. Talking about wheezing sound, it's in spongia toaster. Talking about uh, hissing respiration, hissing sound, that is acetic acid. Talking about whistling sound, CT ki tarah, that is aconite. Okay? This. Next, then next, talking about inhalation of vapor, cider vinegar has successfully used in croup and malignant diphtheria. Cannot sleep lying on back. Lying on back, it aggravates the symptom. Okay, let's talk about. Cannot sleep on lying on back. Okay, or cannot sleep on abdomen. That is acetic acid. Can sleep better on back. Sleep better on back, arsenic. But arsenic has nothing to do with this medicine. I have seen it before. If you guys got this symptom, please tell me, please comment in the section and which medicine, which book has this symptom. So, sensation of sinking in abdomen, all gone sensation is the, uh, it's different and sinking in the abdomen is different. Causation, causing dyspnea, rest better on lying on belly. There is one medicine written, ammonium carb. Let's talk about ammonium carb. Ammonium carb has rest better on belly, abdomen, amelorated on abdomen. Uh, I hope it has written in this. No, 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 it has not written here. But uh, uh, amelioration, abdomen mein ho raha hai, to acetic acid. Okay, next. Relationship. Oh, sorry. Uh, hectic fevers can dry and hot red spot on the left cheek and drenching night sweats. There is a single medicine and single rubric that is acetic acid. It antidotes anesthetic vapors. Okay. Fumes of charcoal and gases. Fume and charcoal and gases is also given in opium also. Okay. Cider vinegar antidotes carbolic acid. Follows well after synchona in hemorrhage, after digitalis and dropsy, it aggravates the symptom of arnica, belladonna, like I said, smirks all, especially headache, belladonna. Okay, that's all from my side. If you have any query, so let's. Let, I have finished Ellen's keynote, like the acetic acid from Ellen's keynote. Thanks for watching, and if you have any suggestion, if you have any query, write to me at. Uh, Ashutosh Bharadwaj 221 at the rate.
to like two to one at the rate gmail dot com. You can send it to me. The mail. You can ask anything from there. And uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. If you have any suggestion, please write it down and uh, uh, do subscribe to my channel. And uh, if you have any suggestion, please write it down. Or uh, I hope you learn something. And uh, whatever you learn, please write it down. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.